Now, sir, you actually uh, are working at a program that had some self-imposed sanctions, and you came in there, and you're working hard, and you guys are working together to move past that. But talk a little bit about going into a situation like that and what you would like to see as this thing moves forward and it unfolds. Absolutely. You know, and I think, um, that, you know, there was no secret that the program had a lot of challenges um, when I inherited it and did, inherited the program in December. And we're addressing those. Uh, we're taking them one by one and making sure that we deliver um, what we said we were going to do. You know, we started really uh, first with, with making sure that we had a a great financial plan to deliver a balanced budget to the state. Um, we, we believe and firmly believe that we'll still continue to do that and deliver that. Uh, we had some NCAA sanctions that, uh, quite frankly, we had addressed. Uh, there had been decisions that were levied. Uh, we appealed those, and, and uh, in some of the recent news, we, we lost that appeal, but we are excited to move forward in the new direction. All of our programs are not on any type of postseason ban this coming year. And so, again, as we shift our focus to the fall, um, it's very intentional for us um, because we're excited about the opportunities that our fall programs will have to part participate in postseason competition. Um, and as we move forward, we, we're going to make sure that we implement best practices to prevent us uh, from ever revisiting NCAA probationary uh, sanctions or, or things of that nature. The HBCU experience, what does it mean to you personally? You know, I, I would say for me that it, there's nothing like it. Um, you know, it has been filled with uh, nothing but love and support uh, for this program and the direction that we want to go, um, starting from uh, our president, Dr. Larry Robinson, and, and his support. Um, I think we're at a time at an institution where we're doing things that, quite frankly, have not been done at Florida A&M University, and uh, that's okay. And we're excited about that direction. Um, but again, uh, I think Dr. Robinson has been just overwhelmingly supportive, he and his staff, on the things that we need to do to make sure that we're running a first-class operation uh, and that our student-athlete experience is second to none.